hi everyone i want to share one file which is linklist.c okay so this is actually not required for gate just for uh, your your purpose if you want you can use it uh, I, I will just share this but it is not required for gate okay so um, whenever i take i take some class so before that i actually run the course and all so this is the file that i want to share if you want you can use it otherwise completely ignore it it is not at all required for gate okay so basically here i do have a few functions one function is as you can see is create node right this is the create node function and i have defined i have typed up the stack node to capital uh, n o d e so instead of you know writing stack node anywhere i can actually write n o d e so anyway this create nodes takes one value in 12 and uh, on top of that it sets the your uh, new node to this value which is whatever let's suppose you are passing 5 and then second to be null right and then it returns a pointer to new node so this is the pointer so it will return this pointer which means this address whatever it is let's suppose this is 2000 so it will return 2000 so 2000 will get returned so that is how this uh, create node is working okay and uh, let's see the others uh, other functions so there is another function which is create list from the array so what i did like uh, in the main function i have some array let's suppose so i have called create list from array so which basically takes the array and uh, basically i mean the address of the array and uh, the size of the array so as you see here create list from the array it takes the array and uh, the size of the array and it basically creates a linked list so how it is working it uh, first uh, does you know uh, does make a root uh, node pointer which is just a little box and then it creates a point uh, creates a node using this function create node so it basically points to this node and whatever it is so uh, array 0 value was 1 so it it will it will be like this right after this it will be like this and there is a last node pointer which is actually pointing to whatever root node pointer is pointing to so this is also pointing to this and then i do uh, like run a for loop where basically what i'm doing i'm i'm uh, creating a node and then i'm asking that uh, this pointer to point to the newly created node and then so on right and finally i'm returning the root node pointer so i'm returning this so that is how i'm creating a linked list so you can create a linked list in any way so i'm creating a linked list in this way i hope that is fine to all of you okay anyway this is not required for gate i just created this file and i i just wanted to share if you want you can use it and there's a print list function basically it uh, prints all the values of the list there's a length function with, um, which basically uh, return the length of the linked list and and so on there is a re re rearrange function which does uh, you know some rearrangement i mean like uh, you can actually modify this code like whatever you want i mean whatever uh, your rearrangement you you are looking for it will do that okay this is some random function so uh, let me just quickly run this code uh, which means like i have created a linked list and i am i am printing that linked list using the head so if i run this code uh, then it should look like this let me uh, run this code okay so it is printing the uh, linked list which is one two three right and now uh, let me do one thing let me rearrange uh, some nodes and then after that let me print uh, print the linked list again okay so maybe let me just quickly see how it is working so yeah earlier linked list is one two three and after rearrangement it is one two six three maybe rearrangement is uh, appending you know six uh, somewhere okay so this is like you can uh, write rearrangement function in any way so anyway this is a small code if you want you can refer it otherwise completely ignore it again i'm saying it is not at all required for gate if you want uh, some practice you can do it using this code otherwise there is no need okay for gate there is no need for gate you are not going to write the code you are just going to understand the code as long as you are able to understand these things like how it is working uh, like uh, what is p what is this malloc and and how it is setting the value and all then things are perfectly fine you just need to understand the things you do not need to write the code again i am saying it is completely optional not at all to write for gate